Hi, how are you doing today? This is White Mike's Nightlight on the Late Night Show. Here we have smokers and non-smokers in the audience. How are y'all doing today? Woo! Yeah. All right, all right. all right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Today's topic is smoking or non-smoking. Which do you prefer? Non-smoking. All right, now calm okay. down, so calm down, calm down. That's the audio side then. Today we have a guest of ours. She is a full-blown smoker. Smokes in the morning, smokes at night, smokes in the shower, smokes eating a bowl of cereal. Full-blown smoker. On my right here, we have a professor. He's going to let us know about everything, why you do not need to smoke, and why it is bad for you. Yes. All right, what would you like to say for us? Dr. Hollister. When you're smoking, you're more likely to develop paralysis. No one likes paralysis, of course. Uh, studies show that the majority of non-smokers have a greater chance of likely to have Cold feet and hands. Feel my hands. They cold? Kinda. Chilly. It's cold in here. Cold. <laughs> Alright, Professor. Also, you won't have to look at those anti. <laughs> you're looking at your clipboard, so it's alright. Yeah, you get Looking at my clipboard here. Uh, my recent studies show that <laughs> you can drink less coffee for the same buzz and, the, and save money. Also, slows progression from HIV to AIDS. Oh, that's definitely good news that we want to definitely learn more about because who here wants that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, the I'm crowd me. is silent. What's wrong with y'all? Do y'all want that? Oh, hell oh, no. All right, then. <laughs> All right. So, how do, you, how do you feel about smoking? I mean, I know I you mean, love it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I smoke cigarettes. It's not like I'm smoking crack and I'm out there, you know, shooting up meds, like shooting up drugs in me. It's cigarettes. Why do you feel There's that no it's not bad? Why do you feel that it's not bad? It's not bad because I'm good. I'm healthy. How do you know that? Can you wake because up in the morning? I go to the doctor and I'm healthy. Oh, and you're healthy. Yes. You wake up in the morning. Smoke your cigarette and look in the why mirror not? on the inside of you. Can you see the why inside not? of you? Do you know how the inside of you looks? So why not? You wake up in the morning, right? And you go and get something to eat, right? right? Okay. I'm going to pull up me a cigarette. That's my food. That's your food. That's my food. Wow. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? That's her food. What does the audience have to say about this? Do we have any non-smokers in the building? Yes, my name is Mike, and, uh, and I'm a non-smoker. I do not agree with her 100%. At all. Um, I, I think she's lying. I think she's, uh, I don't know, she's crazy. I, I believe you. Yes, sir, because I'm know, a non-smoker myself. But go you ahead. Know, smoking is a drug. You know, she thinks of it that it, it's healthy and everything, but it's, it's like the bad apple. You know, you look good on the outside, but inside, it's all nasty. It's all nasty, Actually, girl. Actually, a bad apple, you would see it on the outside anyway. So, like I said, I look good. I'm fine. Like she said, her doctor must be the smoker also. So they must no. be doing something wrong. Must be. They must be doing some wrong tests or something. I have no idea because smoking is very bad for you. Do we have any smokers in the building? Me right you, here. You, sir. Yes. We know you're a smoker. Okay. My name is Urban Ozzy, and I'm a smoker. And I like it. I'm talking about this. Hey, hey, I like it. I'm never nervous. So I'm just happy all the time when I smoke. Yeah. That's all, all right, I'm right. for. You. you see, that guy didn't know what he was talking about, freaking smokers. Yeah. Me and the professor here, we're here to tell you a little bit more on why you should not smoke. Give us some more information, professor, on why you should not smoke and why it is bad for your health. Well, as she said, she looks good now, but smoking it increases your age by a lot. It you gives you wrinkles. Anyway. Yes, but it speeds up at an increased rate. Your teeth absolutely will look horrendous after a while. Horrendous. So show that after 10 years of smoking, your teeth become yellow and frail. Also, you're, you're less likely to die of a brain tumor. Again, your heart, your heart disease, your chances of becoming a heart patient are very slim, as opposed to a smoker. Professor, where are you getting information from? Uh, statistics. Because as, okay. Statistics. Out of who? Through, through who years and years of development. And by years and years of development, it changed. So what I'm saying is that people sit out there and they have their candy to eat 
a lot of junk food, obesity, that mess up your heart. So it's other areas that people can die from. Yes. Smoking is right. the same as it is. This is like I want to say something. Yes, sir, we have a guy in the audience. Not yes, smoking. yes, yes. All right. Um, I'm kind of, kind of sad because I'm here today, you know, to let you guys know that uh, I lost my wife because of smoking. Oh, sad people, people like this that keeps on smoking, 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 and I have nobody to share my life with because my wife lost her life to smoking. But she's pretty when she. She was very pretty. Exactly. So, like and I was saying. Happened? I would have, I would well, at least you would look good in your casket, man. At least <laughs> exactly. you would look good in your exactly. casket. On but the outside. Okay. Inside, if you saw I mean, the no pictures of inside, she was full of black dye. You know that black thing that you put on the treats? Yeah. Black dye. That's what she wow. has. And I bet you. No, I don't. I bet you she got the same thing. No. She got the same thing. I don't. She probably does. She probably My has the same wrong. thing. Sir, would you like to say anything? Because you are a smoker too. Do you, can you compare and relate to her? Do you do you have the same feelings that she does when you smoke? Well, not actually. I don't know, but through the years of smoking, I feel like quitting. Just, I'll save money. That's like the only way I would quit is if I save money. So you, not only not only that I save money for the cigarettes that I get. Because usually I smoke when I drink coffee. So if I'm not smoking, why well, drink coffee? So that's double saving. So that's like the only way I would quit is just to save money. Okay, so you mean to tell me? There we go, there we go. You mean yeah, to tell like, me that if they right charge here. you $20 for one pack of cigarettes, you would quit smoking? Hell yeah. All right, that's what I like to hear. You might be able to convince this young man one day to quit smoking. If they charge you $20 a pack no. for one pack of... No. Is there any way I that we can convince you today? I weed, so I'm going to pay Is there any way today, ma'am, that we can convince you to stop smoking? <laughs> no? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. You heard it from the horse's mouth. She's a smoker. She loves it. She's not going to quit. But maybe there's people out there in the audience that do like to quit. Maybe we'll quit one day and save their lives. Tonight, we are out with the late night show, White Mike's Nightlight. We're out of here. Go Mike! Go Mike! Go Mike! Go Mike! <laughs>